Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Let's see if I'm not stuck here for an hour. That would be nice. Never know what might happen out there. I'm gonna do a save here So I don't want to wait again Basically How do I get inside? No, I need- I wanna get inside the other thing. I'm gonna save. This actually worked, although I really fumbled the controls. Wow. And this was silent? It's amazing. My god. Oh. Now us. Come on, man, put that away. Oh, I understand. Oh. cops won't be a problem anymore too bad I was just starting to warm up to them I can try and get some more down here if that's what you want no it is better this happens now before I become too attached you mind untying me sure so was it Tibor or Adela that asked you to help me or something else um
No, righteous. A man getting savagely beaten isn't something I can just watch, regardless of the reason. Well, you know cops, right? Assholes do not need a reason. I do know cops, and whether it's right or wrong, there's always a reason. Look, all I know is that since the Ruzika bombing, the police have been cracking down on us hard. They suspect Ark, of course, but they're blaming every Og. For most of them, it's just another excuse to hurt us. I thought you weren't a member of Ark. My brother is. I just repair things for them sometimes. Heating units, security cameras. It is how I earn a living for my family. Do you know if Ark was responsible for the Ruzika bombing? No. And I do not want to know. After this, I am done with them. Being associated with Ark. Even if they are our only hope, it is not worth the pain. Look, you want to know what Ark is up to? You're going to have to ask them yourself. Fair enough. How do I do that? When you have robbed the man of all, the things... He is no longer the... He has no more of... Shit. Power. Something. Freedom. How does it go? Are you feeling all right? It is this week's passphrase. It is Selznik or Solzhenitsyn. Ah, I got it. When you rob a man of everything, he is no longer in your power. He is free again. Just remember the quote. It'll get you past Lubosh. He guards the way to the Ark Elevator. Just repeat the quote, and he will let you in. This will help. Thank you. It is the least I can do. Thanks to you, I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. Rob a man of everything. Hold on. Rob a man of everything is no longer in your power. Is free again? Is that the quote? I have to take a note of that. Alright. I should save. Oh my god. Prison within a prison. That makes no sense. Just leave me alone, Wrench. Mm, they're not willing to help me. Right. Look, it's a xenomorph. Okay, I need I need to stop being an idiot. Please, help my brother. I did. Oh. I mean, I'm gonna try. Let's see if I can hack this. See what I can get out of it. Boom. Okay. Anomaly detected. Trace program 
initiated. Yeah, not doing it. Okay. Let's go. Quiet. Wait, did I search you? You heard about the bombing at the train station, right? That's terrible. I still can't believe our could do so. You can't just walk away. Get out of my face. You get out of my face. Asshole. It's just not fair. I thought that having a baby would be the greatest day of our lives. Oh, Christ. Uh, chapter 9, Thumper. The closed circuit club was busy. Cogs and cog lovers. I didn't get on with either. But it was the only lead I had. A rooster was all lit up and, crow and crowing on stage. He sounded good. Looked even better. Maybe even good enough to change my mind about the place. I signaled a bank t signaled. Right, I signaled a bartender. He'd already been pouring a couple of fingers of his cheapest rot gut. He slid the glass over. Help ya? You the manager? His face twisted into what I could only guess was a grin. His left eye was augmented. I don't know what he was saying, but he was eyeballing me like I was blue. Closest we've got. Frida Allers. Know her? Sure. Hop tables for me. Belled out a tune once in a while. What? He got real quiet, real quick, and his eyes fixed on something past my shoulder. What's this? Little Snatch asking questions? I turned, slow and steady, keeping my right arm behind me, on the bar, close to the small of my back. There were five of them, and a few more. Were getting up from their tables. The mouth was a big one, rough and ogged. They were all were. I got your answers right here. He raised an arm in the metal slump stump where his hand should have been, started pistoning like a slow motion jackhammer. I smiled and finally got a grip of the pineapple I'd been digging for. P14 EMAG, EM Pulsar. I always kept one in a rear hip holster. These boys would be waking up with a hell of a headache in the morning. But now. <sighs> no. I'm scared too. Oh man, I'm sleepy. I don't know. Please, go away. Leave us alone. You're bothering my wife. Okay. I thought you wanted some advice. He's trying to help, man.
Success granted. Oh. Let's do this. You are receiving this automatic notification because I am out of the office. Greetings, Doctor. I have just learned of the disturbing facts we have uncovered at the Utelec complex. It is safe to say that this news has affected me greatly. It is also safe to say that Atticus Dollarhide is no longer in charge of things, nor is he a Santo Group shareholder. Your colleague Dr. Davis is in charge now, and he and I are in the process of organizing to have you and your patients transferred to a temporary facility in preparation for permanent relocation to our new Rabaya site. The nursery program at the Utilac Complex is to be scuttled immediately. I owe you a great depth of gratitude, Doctor. Thank you for your keen eye and your humanitarian spirit. Every life matters. Audrey, I've spoken to Dollar. Oh shit, I did not read. Or did I? Yeah, I didn't. Okay. Mr. Brown, how can I properly express my appreciation for your actions? I cannot thank you enough. Also, if I may say so, it is a personal honor to me to receive those compliments from a beacon such as yourself. I will begin preparations to have my patients ready for when the transports arrive. These women and their children deserve to have a chance at a future. You are giving them that chance. Okay. Audrey, I've spoken to Dollar Hyde. He's going to raise the alarm on the IMR inside Utilec. He said that the pool you're getting your numbers from is too shallow to be accurate. Fucking bureaucrat. Did you know he's a Santo shareholder? Probably trying to protect his goddamn investment. Sorry. Anyways, I'm going to keep pushing this on my end. I think it's time I call in a very overdue favor. Do your best to keep your patients healthy. Chris. Hold on. I've been looking over records here at Utilec Complex and I'm seeing some pretty scary infant mortality numbers. I'm going to run through the math again, but if these numbers hold up, I'm going to have to re recommend that all women have pregnancy tests before being sent there. What kind of numbers? We knew IMR was going to be higher given all the environmental factors. You need to understand that Utilec is basically a micro third world. Not every child is going to survive. I did the math again. It's worse than I thought. IMR is 4 in 10, which it of which 90% are preterm births. Chris, I'm deeply concerned. We can't have women giving birth in this place. Four in 10? Jesus. Okay, give me some time, weak tops, to start this out with the board. In the meantime, I want you to get all of your patients on a course of antenatal cordic corticosteroids. I'll get back to you. Man, did I read this? I did. I did. All right. Good luck with everything. Alright. Let's continue, Jensen. I took some kind of I've got a good idea And it takes rules his art. No, an elevator. Useless. Unless we want to start a real game, which we don't. In this mode, we have some light temperatures and the Done. If you do hear from them, please let me know. All you ever talk about is about the Man, I could go for a walk right now. Ooh, new new one. Will China seek Europe's help? The Chinese city of Hengsha may soon be getting a facelift, if rumors floating down the Yang the Yangtze River can be believed. Built on two levels and hope to a significant augmented population, the city sustained heavy damage during the AUK incident and has yet to rebuild many sectors. 
Yet, just last month, Chinese authorities were seen meeting with architects from the Santo Group, the European-based construction giant that, sorry, European-based construction giant that is best known in Prague for building the Utilec complex. Certainly, China has architects of our own we could work with, an anonymous source inside China stated. But sprawling urban developments are reshaping the global landscape, and Santo has years of experience in future-proofing them. Just look at what they've done with Dallas and Seattle. Does this mean that anxious to tire skyline will soon be obscured by thick concrete walls? No one at Santo was available to comment. Crackdown on unlicensed ox. Residents of the already overcrowded Utilec complex need to make room for 20,000 more people. That's the number state police expect to apprehend at checkpoints in coming weeks, once Prague updates its augmentation regulations. Many previously licensed citizens will not be eligible for the new T-73 permit verification card. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Just for yawning. <laughs> Lubos. Is there something I could help you with? You're Lubos, right? Dushin Sokol told me Ark might have the answers I'm looking for. He sent me to you. Dushin? I heard the police had him and his brother Tibor locked up in the Narrows. Yeah, the cops were working Dushin over pretty good when I found him. Wasn't exactly a fair fight, so I stepped in. Is he okay? He'll be fine. Looking forward to sleeping in his own bed tonight. Not a lot of people in here would be bothered to stop and help out a stranger. What was happening wasn't right. You took on the police by yourself, on their own turf? And then Dushin pointed me to you. He was right to do so, but I'm sure he would have given you something more. Some wisdom, maybe? No, this one. When you've robbed a man of everything, he's no longer in your power. He's free again. Spoken like a true brother of the revolution. I think I even heard conviction in your voice. I'll unlock the elevator for you. Go on up. Yes. How did you get involved with Ark? I used to load freight for the Czech Railway in Ostrava. After the incident, my employers were afraid of me. I was fired. So, like most of the augmented in the country, I drifted into Prague, unlicensed and homeless. The police swept me up in a sewer raid one night, put a round in my leg and dumped me here. It wasn't long before Talos found me. And he gave you work? He gave me purpose. He's the reason I'm still alive. What can you tell me about Talos? First time I met him, he's cutting a bullet out of me while trying to explain the history of the Gulag. He has his hand stuck in my leg, and is encouraging me to study Stalinist labor camps. Three months later, I pass him in the throat, and he says, Lubosh, how's the leg? Are you studying the Gulag like I suggested? Remembered me like it was yesterday. Sounds like he has a good memory. No, I mattered to him. Me, a nobody, mattered to a great man like Talos Rucker. That's the kind of man he is. Lucian said some of the police are using the Ruzika bombing as an excuse to hurt the augmented in Gollum City. Why do you think that is? They're trying to manufacture a response from Talos to get Ark to fight back. Violence begets violence. That's right. And if Ark responds violently, then their case against us only builds. But <laughs> Talos is too smart. He won't allow Ark to be baited into a false confession, even if it means that the people we sworn to protect are hurt. Great, thanks. Okay. Man, I want to do business. Uh. What do I want? I'm gonna wait. You came here on purpose? It was in the early days of this place. Nobody knew yet. 
And my parents refused to take her in. Growth. Santo's initial successes allow them to quickly grow into an international company. Their early strategy for growth and a prosperous future was the acquisition of land, great swaths of cheap land in various countries around the world. Useless land, it was thought. Land in the middle of nowhere. However, much of the Ikreach was lying atop freshwater aquifers. aquifers, aquifers. By the early 2000s, Santo Water was the major water treatment and supply conglomerate on the globe and controlled much of the planet's fresh water. The water wars were already won before they had even begun. For the next 25 years, Santo and Environmental acquired smaller companies and influence. Their expansion was meteoric and their rise fu funded many fortunes. When the Earth's population boomed beyond the 10 billion mark, Santo was in position to take advantage. They diversified, agriculture was the new game, and they had thousands of acres of land ready to be cultivated. Their water distribution infrastructure already in place, Santo effectively became the world leader in food production and distribution virtually overnight. The Santo group was formed. She thought she'd be safe in living here than on the street. Look, look, I'm starving. That's not my problem. I can't afford to give away food for free. Okay, game. really wanted a merchant but I can't find one Nemam planu je použít I just learned. Right around here, there's a guy selling. The promise of augmentation is the promise of better health, better employment opportunities, and a greater sense of personal and collective empowerment. It is the promise of a better life. And yet, many of us cannot help but feel as though we are held back. Held back by the limits of modern design, held back by legal restrictions, held back by other people's prejudices and fears of progress. The Santo group understands why you became augmented. It understands your concerns and shares your ideals. After having successfully carried out countless reconstruction and recovery projects across the globe, the Santo group is now dedicated to revolutionizing the spaces we inhabit. Rabaya is a new city for a new age, a self-sufficient safe haven relying on renewable energy and a zero-waste ecology. Ecology? Yeah. A better life demands a better city, and now, thanks to Rabaya, both are possible. The promise awaits. And GT. Don't try anything. Yes! I found it. If you're looking to take a piss, you can do it in the street like everybody else. If you're looking for Virzboski, you can fuck off. I'm not looking for either. Well then, handsome. You must be looking to deal. My name's Entity, and I've got the sweetest tech in GC. How may I serve you? Huh. Please make deals when I with in, me. There, you mentioned someone named Worsbowski. Who is that? My asshole ex. He used to run this place with me before he ran out. Thought you were one of his new friends. The kind of welcome you gave me must not think much of his new friends. Don't get me wrong. Ark does a lot of good in the ghetto, but. Your boyfriend fell in with Ark? Ex. And I get it, I guess. He always wanted to make a difference. Ark keeps a lot of people safe in here. Keeps them fed, clothed. They give a lot of people hope. I get that, but... 
I don't know. Something about organized anything scares the shit out of me. You think Ark is dangerous? No. I don't know. Maybe. Shit. Probably. But that's not what scares me. It's the collective, hive-minded mentality that freaks me out. That's why I stay away from religion. And book clubs. <laughs> so, listen, we're getting to know each other here. Is there... something else I can do for you? So how did you wind up dealing tech in Bellum City? All the brothels were full, so I had no choice but to fall back on an old hobby to make ends meet. Which tech company was it that cut you loose? Bobson Synthetics. I was a biocell designer. Then I wasn't. The incident fried some pretty delicate shit in my hand. Can't really do my best work anymore, you know, but... Hey, whatever. That's downer territory. I get by fine. What do you say we change the subject? Sure. Show me what you've got. Well, if you're going to make it sound naughty, I have no choice, do I? Yeah, she's definitely flirting, but I... Hi, I, I. Good looks and an eye for high-end tech. Mother did warn me. I'm hoping there's something else I can do for you. Actually, Entity, I think I'll just show myself out. Oh, sad face. Well, promise me you won't stay gone too long, darling. Like, some people really just flirt, like, with no fear of rejection, you know? I could never. I could never. Anyways, I found a store. Let's save. And then we'll go. Business. I managed to convince one of Ark's regulars of my commitment to the cause. I hope you put air quotes around commitment. Just tell Miller the mission's back on track. I'm heading into an area called the Throat now. Should take me straight into Ark territory. Copy that. I'll do a flyby up ahead, get you the lay of the land. Even if you... Should have tried cutting the blue wire. If only life was that simple. You are lost, brother. It looks like you might have taken the wrong turn. You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko. He is more of a guardian, like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes. I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Sure. Sure. Go back. Go home. There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you figure that? You don't know me. I know this place up ahead. We call it the throat. And sometimes those get cut, yes? 
when outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. Do not listen to police and all their bullshit about Ark. Those Shluputia pricks are everywhere. Breaking heads, making their mess, and we have to deal with it. Better watch yourself. They won't go easy on you either. Leash or no leash. Hmm. I disagree with this. It's not right what the police are doing. Someone has to stand up to them. Is that you? Because it takes a lot to step out of line and answer back. And once you do, there is no return. Not everyone has the courage to take up the fight. You make it sound like you're in a war. It is a war. On us. On every augmented human. You see that, don't you? There is a moment coming, and it will be soon, when all of us will have to choose a side. Anyone who does not will just be in the way. And that could get them killed. I thought Ark was about preserving human rights, not advocating armed revolt. Here and now, brother, it is the same thing. What you're talking about, that's terrorism. Easy. I thought we were just two men, having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. Like your friend Rucker? I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong. Intelligent. Principle. You could learn a lot from him. Hmm. Sounds like you already have. You're a regular true believer. Leave a day in this shithole, and you will be one too. You face what we face. The oppression. Degradation. And you will know. Talos Raker sees through all of it. He has answers. Are you sure about that? Or is it just what you want to be true? Well... As much as a political debate stimulates me, you are pushing my patience, and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, I gotta tell you, it sucked. The way I see it, after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> yes, it may seem that way. Now. Until then. Sergey! Be careful in there, Shire. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Ah. Yes. We'll be seeing you. Chicane. Patch me through to Miller. Give him a message. Patch you through. What am I, your fucking secretary now? Jensen, I thought you were back on track. I am. But I need you to run a name through ILEC. Victor Marchenko. I've got a feeling about this guy. Fine. But remember, you're there for Rucker. If he's behind these attacks, everyone else will fall in line.
security rating. Okay, let's save. Uh, reveal. Ooh. everyone sick of me yet yes another email about a code change if you want to cross the bridge without being cut in half don't forget to deactivate the lasers code is 3354 for now trust me I'm even more fed up with this than you are max by the way I know it I mean...
Oh, we mine inventory. Uh, I prefer this. Oh god, please don't. Jesus Christ, Jensen. I need a key card, and I don't have a key card. Right? card No No, that's just a light. Oh. I haven't been here. The problem is, I am running out of time for this episode, so thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.